Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West channel. Well, I've always wanted to take and pop the bottom off of a beer bottle like you see him doing on YouTube all the time. And this was my first experience at it. Sorry I didn't get it on film. But, um, you know, I was concerned about it. Popping it like that, would I end up stabbing myself? Would this break off and I stab myself? Would the bottle break in such a fashion as to when I was holding it here that the shards would come up and cut me? Well, I wasn't far off. After three strikes, I did pop the bottom off, and now I can't find it. And But it also cracked the bottle like this, too. So just like you would think, and just like I was assuming, it is a dangerous thing to do. So I went back out in the woods here to try to find another beer bottle and I couldn't find one, so. Let's go ahead and sacrifice our Yahoo bottle that we found the other day and we did solar ignition with. And this is the only other glass bottle I could find. Now on this technique, you wanna fill it up to about, to the neck of the bottle, leave a couple of inches of airspace. And it is not the airspace, it is not compressing that airspace that causes this bottom to pop out. Actually, you're separating this bottle from the slug of water. As you slam down on here, the bottle goes down and the mass of the water doesn't. So it makes a vacuum down in here. And after that water comes slamming back down against the bottom, that's what causes it to pop out. Regardless of what you see online where they say, oh, you're compressing this air up here. And that's what's knocking you out. So. So it is dangerous. I recommend that you do not try it. And this time, I'll be using some gloves when I try it for, with both of these bottles. A Yoohoo bottle and this Pepsi bottle. Nothing, if you don't have a neck of a beer bottle to hold on to, it's gonna be a lot harder. So let's just see what happens. I hope I can hold on to it, I might. That's gonna be an issue trying to hold on to it. So, it actually works on the old glass Pepsi bottles too, but you see how these cracks came up close to where my hand was at. This is very dangerous. Let's go ahead and try the Yoohoo bottle. At least I got a little bit of a neck to hold on to with that. Let's try that. Well, that was better. I got that one in two hits. The beer bottle in three hits. Maybe this is going to be one hit right here. No cracks yet. pretty dangerous please don't try this and especially don't try it without gloves on now let's take this good bottom let's take these good bottoms and try them for ferro rod and try some bipolar percussion on them let's try the keychain ferro rod now glass only has a 5.5 on the hardness scale and if you think about chert, quartz, and flint, it's a seven on the hardness scale. So there's only so much glass can do when it comes to scraping a ferro rod. So, but it should work. Should work just fine. All right, this is, this is the Pepsi bottle. And when you got good tender, it's not that hard. 
Let's try the Yoo-Hoo bottle now. I'm trying to find the finest fibers, which is right there. All right. I mean, this Yoo-Hoo bottle actually feels more substantial. Maybe the glass is better too. Yeah, it's being harder to ignite the pine needles, but I can tell that it's, it's actually scraping the ferrite a whole lot better. <laughs> you eventually get there. Let's try some bipolar percussion on this thicker Yoohoo bottle. See if we can get a concordial fracture out of it. And I got safety glasses and I'm going to put my gloves on. Right. The bipolar percussion technique is an anvil stone and a hammer stone. There's a nice little shard right there. Let's keep going with it. Oh, there's another nice, another nice shard. And another nice shard on the ground. Oh, it's split right in the center. So. Let's see what this shard on the ground looks like. No, it does. It doesn't look too sharp. Let's uh, let's gather up some of these. That that's really thin, and you would think it was sharp, but that's not sharp. That is not sharp. It's sharp in here where it's jagged, so we'll try that to cut some denim. This feels sharp right here, once again, where it's jagged. This isn't sharp at all. And once again, <laughs> right there where it's jagged seems to be sharp. So let's try these for a blade, see if we can cut denim with them. All right, let's try this ragged edge, which actually feels sharp. Not too sharp. Oh, and now it doesn't feel sharp anymore. So those sharp edges just broke right off, didn't they? It has to be because of this is this is just five and a half on the hardness scale. Let's try that right there. Cut through that seam pretty good. Let's try another shard. Boy, that is so thin right there, but there is just absolutely no edge on that whatsoever. But right here, where it's jagged, feels sharp. And this right here feels real sharp. Let's try it.
Yeah. Those sharp edges just break right off. Let's try. Let's try this right here. Yep, glass edges break right off. <laughs> you can hack it into. One more time, we got this other shard. Boy, that feels so sharp right there. I wonder if I give it a lighter touch, if I can preserve that good razor's edge. Now right, let's try that. There we go. So you can hack through it. Let me get the three shards. All right. I've always wanted to try that popping the bottom out of a bottle before, and I haven't seen anybody do any uh, any any other one but a beer bottle. Yeah, I did see a professor when he was explaining the technique. He did use a rubber mallet and a solo bottle. So that's a completely different shape than a beer bottle. But uh, boy, I was so discouraged when I when I didn't get my first attempt on video, and I went back went to watch it back, and I, I didn't have it on there. So, but it worked out just fine, didn't it? I just found the bottom out of that beer bottle, and I wanted to show you that this bottom responded to bipolar percussion. A whole lot better you see the edges it didn't split in half and look at this concordial fracture that blade right there now it had the same problem as the white pieces of glass the edges the edges couldn't maintain they just broke right off immediately but um, there's probably all kinds of formulas for glass and that's probably the difference here all right I really enjoyed this one I appreciate you coming along with me. We'll catch you on the next one.